Hello, and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today, my illustration was inspired by Paul David Tripp's book, New Morning Mercies, and today is September 11th. And when Corona hit in March, my daughter found everybody at home and she thought they needed a new project. And so she did something she's been wanting to do for years, and that is get some chickens. And she had researched and found out she really wanted silkies. And out of her three daughters, it was this little girl who absolutely bonded with the chickens and played with them all day long with her friends, but also has become their number one caretaker. And she has just lovingly taken on all the chores that need to be done for the chickens. What do you got there? Cosmo. Cosmo. Cosmo just laid an egg? Awesome. Maybe we should go over and look at it. Oh, let's see. Let me see. It's still a, warm. It's still warm. Wait, let me try it. Oh, it is warm. <laughs> That's so cool. So when when can you let them out? Later. Later? Oh, not in the morning? And not only does she take care of the chickens, but she um, loves taking care of the dogs too. If she gets up before mom in the morning, she makes sure the dogs are let out and that they have their nice fresh water and she gives them their breakfast. That's Molly, Molly's 13. And this is Lulu. Lulu is two. And they are both golden retrievers. And wonderful family dogs. What you got there? Scratch. It's their breakfast. Oh, they want to take it right out of your hands. Because my oldest daughter lives out of town, when I go to visit her, I usually stay for a week. And what I at first thought was a bad thing, her living away from home, has really turned out to be such a blessing. Because I get to see her and her family from when they get up in the morning till they go to bed at night and see all the things that they're up to in their routines. And I'm pretty sure that I see more of the out-of-town family than I see of the families that actually live in town. They're gonna appreciate that nice fresh water.
I don't have any pets right now. In the past, we've had dogs and tons of cats and gerbils and all of those fun things that you have when the kids are growing up. But right now, I don't have any pets. But when I'm at my daughter's home, I realize just how much I would like one. And I really enjoy her two dogs. They're just so delightful to be around. And these chickens. I really enjoy these chickens. What's that? Show me what that is. It holds like seed. Oh, okay. Where have you got that? In the garage. Oh, okay. I love listening to the noises that they make and watching them when they get out of the, their little coop and watching them roam around the yard and the antics they get up to. Finally, we get to free the chickens. Who's this? Corona. Good morning, Corona. And who's that? That's Olive. Olive and Cosmo. Good morning. Good morning, Olive. Good morning. Oh, you're so beautiful. Look how beautiful you are. Oh, you're such a good girl. Are you ready to start the day and look for some bugs? These blue things on the side of yeah. them are their ears. Those are their ears. I didn't know that. Very good. And here's Molly, come to see. Yeah. As I watch the chickens roaming in and out of the garden, scratching constantly, uh, always looking for something to eat, I realize how they are creating a complete system. The chickens benefit from what they can find to eat in the garden, and the garden definitely benefits from what the chickens are doing for it. They're keeping the bug population down, and they're constantly tilling the soil with their feet, scratching it up and keeping it nice and aerated. And when you clean out their chicken coops, the, their droppings mixed in with all the wood sh shavings becomes a terrific addition to the compost pile. I know the chickens can be destructive and can pull up small plants and big holes to take a dirt bath in. It seems like a minor inconvenience compared to all the benefits that they give to the garden. And I have to be honest with you that after seeing this and just falling in love with these chickens in the garden together and this perfect system that it makes, I'm regretful that of all my years of gardening, I never thought of this and I missed out on it. So I'm regretful of what I missed out on. And on the other hand, I'm a bit envious of what my daughter has achieved here.
Today in his devotions, Paul Tripp talks about envy and how it seems that we envy people who have seemed to have captured their dreams. And if we start to compare our lives with others, it can wreak havoc in our hearts, in our minds, in our relationships with others, and in our relationship with God. And sometimes we look at God and say, why have you given that person their dream and why don't I have mine? And I have to admit that there have been times in the past that I have felt like that. But Paul Tripp reminds us that God is not a delivery system for our dreams. But if we get caught up in that very destructive thinking, there is good news that God has provided grace that will battle for your heart. And grace is more powerful than those dangerous dreams that sometimes enslave us in doubt and discontent. So I just wanted to assure you before we go that I am not envious of my daughter but I am delighted with the beautiful garden that she has created and with the chickens that she has added to her family. And um, it just gives me something to think about that maybe I could do this too. And if I do, I will let you know because I know it'll be a great story. I sure did enjoy putting this video together today and as you could probably tell I'm just a little bit proud of my granddaughter and how she so carefully takes care of these chickens. So thank you for joining me today at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope that this was an encouragement to you and if it was could you please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and in that way, YouTube will help us to spread the good news. So thank you, and God bless.